At the turn of the millennium, Brendan Fraser seemed to be everywhere. He was headlining goofy kids' adventure comedies, leading up a mainstream franchise, and nabbing roles in critically favorable films. When you put it all together, Fraser has one of the most impressive bodies of work in Hollywood. From his critically acclaimed roles in School Ties and Gods and Monsters, running all the way through mega-hits like The Mummy and Journey to the Center of the Earth. Simply put, we love Brendan Fraser. Over the past few years, though, his star power has become significantly duller, leading many to wonder, why is Hollywood giving Brendan Fraser the cold shoulder these days? Here's a look at some reasons this once busy actor has been so absent from the screen scene lately. Facing the Flops Fraser's bankability as a big name was called into question pretty early on in his rise to fame. While the actor enjoyed some commercial successes like George of the Jungle and The Mummy, he also suffered some serious stinkers at the same time, like Blast from the Past and Dudley Do-Right, both of which had critics laughing for all the wrong reasons, and certainly didn't draw much audience interest. The Mummy Returns gave him a much-needed momentum swing back in the right direction, and he went on to nab a role in the critically favored Crash before jumping into another action-adventure realm in Journey to the Center of the Earth. But after that, his inability to drum up an audience really started coming to light. Trail. Um, okay. Fraser Fatigue Fraser's appeal as the lovable doofus in George of the Jungle didn't quite translate to other franchise hopeful films. Not only did Dudley do right, do wrong, but Monkey Bone was a total non-starter. Perhaps most tellingly, his attempt to lead a live-action take on the Looney Tunes animated world sputtered out with a lackluster reception. Fraser gave the goofball game that had made him a name one more go with Furry Vengeance, but that movie was a disaster on all fronts. It solidified the fact that Fraser's silly screen demeanor just wasn't getting kids to their ticket booths anymore. Burying the Mummy While the first Mummy sequel came along pretty quickly after the original installment and successfully capitalized on the excavation adventure craze, the third movie was slow going despite the successes of the first two films. So by the time The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor rolled along, audiences were over it having moved on to alternatives like Nicolas Cage's National Treasure movies and even the franchise spin-off, The Scorpion King. The Mummy 3 didn't exactly bomb, but its domestic receipts were less than either of its predecessors, and led to the franchise being left to decay until Fraser was replaced by none other than Tom Cruise for the 2017 reboot. Killing a Comeback once the Mummy franchise was clearly dead, Fraser had a real chance at following his Journey to the Center of the Earth success into a new franchise. But he held out on signing for Journey to the Mysterious Island out of loyalty to the first installment's director. Rather than waiting on either party, the studio just replaced the director and brought in The Rock to take Fraser's place. The sequel did just fine without them, with several sequels expected to follow. Ouch. I trust you, Master. Good! The joke was on him. Celebs becoming part of the meme machine can help their popularity. But for Fraser, his internet infamy was more of the awkward and unsettling variety than endearing. At the 2010 Golden Globes, he was captured in a moment of exuberance that was so unusually enthusiastic it spawned a new meme category all its own. To many, the memes proved that Fraser was funnier by accident than on purpose in his movies. Yikes. Personal setbacks When the getting is good, there's no business like show business. But having such impressive tax returns in the archive can leave an actor paying through the nose for their former glory during a divorce, even after the opportunities dry up. Fraser and his ex-wife Afton Smith, whom he met in 1993 and had three sons with, announced their divorce in 2007 after nine years of marriage. They reached a settlement for her alimony and child support award in 2009. However, the situation turned publicly ugly between them in 2013 when, as his career momentum slowed, Fraser petitioned for a reduction of his reported $900,000 a year payment schedule. His ex claimed he'd hidden funds and future film deals at the time of their 2009 settlement, but he reasoned that he expected to make no money whatsoever, as in zero dollars, in the future and would be relying on the assets he'd earned prior to the petition for payments due to unspecific medical issues which considerably affected his workflow. Insult to Injury 
According to some sources, the setback Fraser was referring to in his reduction petition was a back injury he sustained while attempting to clear away yard debris from Hurricane Sandy with a chainsaw. His injury reportedly even required corrective surgery and intense physical therapy rehabilitation and may prevent him from being able to do his own stunt work, as he had in prior productions, which would support his claim that medical concerns would limit his future earning potential. Sad Fraser is sad. In December 2016, Fraser re-emerged to discuss his guest role in Showtime's The Affair, and the appearance went viral, for all the wrong reasons. Viewers of the segment remarked at how melancholy the actor appeared during his discussion of the series and his career at large, especially when the subject of wanting to avoid being typecast as the goofy accidental hero came up. If there was any lingering doubt that Fraser's slew of setbacks were taking a toll on the actor, this was proof. Crowd Comes Calling some Fraser fans responded to the sad viral video by organizing a Change.org petition addressed to major networks to encourage them to cast him. Thousands of signatures flowed in for the plea, which begged the channels to help get Brendan back on his feet again. And the petition also cried foul on Fraser not being asked back for any role in the Mummy reboot. Earlier the same year, Reddit users had devised a plan to hit social media with demands that Fraser make it into more roles, particularly on the small screen. After so many misses on the silver screen, maybe the small screen would be a good fit for Fraser. I'll do it! Don't think I won't! Time for a turnaround. Momentum means a lot in Tinseltown, especially when it comes to a good comeback story. In Fraser's case, there's some reason to believe that he may land on his feet again. With The Affair offering him an all-new sort of screen personality, and the Fraser-free Mummy reboot drumming up some nostalgia for his role in launching the franchise in the first place, there's a chance his next role could mark a step in a new turnaround trend. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!